In this video, I'm going to talk about diagnostic signs and symptoms indicative of osteoarthritis of the knee. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The diagnosis of osteoarthritis has often been based on radiographic appearance according to the criteria of Kellgren and Lawrence rather than clinical features. However, recent research has shown that the correlation of radiographic imaging and the amount of pain and limitation that patients experience does not have such a strong correlation as once believed. Other factors like central sensitization and psychosocial factors might play an important role in explaining which patients with radiographic osteoarthritis experience pain and which don't. The cluster by Altman et al. from the year 1986 has a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 69% for 3 out of 6 signs and symptoms. With 4 out of 6 positive findings, sensitivity decreased to 84% but specificity increased to 89%. For this reason, this cluster has a high clinical value to rule out or confirm osteoarthritis of the knee. The cluster contains the presence of knee pain plus the following 6 items. 1. Age older than 50 years due to the fact that the prevalence increases with increasing age with a peak around 78 to 79 years. 2. Morning stiffness of less than 30 minutes which is an important factor to distinguish osteoarthritis from rheumatoid arthritis in which case stiffness is usually lasting longer than 30 minutes. 3. Crepitations upon examination of range of motion. To assess this point, you can have your patient squat. It's important to distinguish between bony crepitus, which rather sounds like a creaky door, from synovial crepitus, which is the common pop a lot of people experience from early age on. 4. Tenderness upon palpation of bony margins. This is due to the fact that the subchondral bone, in contrast to the cartilage itself, is highly innervated and might be sensitive upon palpation. 5. Bone enlargement of the knee joint due to the formation of osteophytes. And 6. No increase of temperature, which again is commonly associated with an active inflammatory process like in rheumatoid arthritis. As mentioned earlier, radiographs alone do not define the clinical syndrome of osteoarthritis as 40% of the patients included in the study by Altman were asymptomatic. This is a good message, as it opens up possibilities for an effective treatment including load management, strengthening, mobility exercises and maybe more importantly proper patient education and explanation of how psychosocial factors might contribute to the patient's individual pain experience. Alright, this was our video on the clinical signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis in the knee. If you are curious about diagnosing uh, osteoarthritis in the hip, watch our video on the cluster of sat lift in the video right next to me. As always, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and for more content, check out our newly released assessment ebook in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot for watching. This was Kai of Physio Tutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.